there! I'm Napta and welcome to episode 84 of our Scarlet and Violet Blind Nuzlocke. Yes, we've lost the lock and I've decided that we're not even going to try to Nuzlocke with what we have left. I just want to finish the story at this point. Um, and you guys don't want to see me grind this close to the end of the story. It's just nobody would have any fun with that. So we are going to go ahead and just take our team and we're going to go uh, fly over to where Arvin is hopefully still waiting for us uh, on the path. We're actually going to fly to uh, Los Platos. I want to heal up here just to be 100% sure that our Terra Orb is active again. Because the worst possible thing I can think of doing right now would be to go to a new area where we don't know where we're at. And we don't know what battles we're going to be taking a part in without fully healed team. So, us and our uh, our squad going to heal up. And then we're going to go see what, what's in the crater. I'm assuming that's where we're going. I'm assuming we're going to go in the lab and then into the crater. Which I'm very excited about. I want to know what's in there. I, I mean, I've wanted to know ever since they told us don't go there. That, and since it was grayed out on my map, which was even before then. So this should be, uh, should be exciting. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to lead with Todd. That's a terrible idea. I'm going to do it anyways, because if he faints, we just heal him. I do want to get him to evolve, which is why I'm leading with him. Try to get that experience. All right. Whoop, whoop. Let us go and see what Arvin has to say. Feels like forever since we were here. Okay. Arvin? 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 Maybe we need to go into the lighthouse? Okay, up we go. Arvin. 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 Okay. I have no idea where Arvin is. Did I, like, walk right past him or something? Let's try this again. Oh. I had to take a step towards the door. It's not a window, it's a door. Okay. Seriously, you beat me here? Yeah, I went and dealed with Team Star even in between. Alright. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here all the time to play when I was a kid. Aw, fond memories, I see. There'd be a better, there better be a good reason for calling us here like this. I believe. Let's find out. I believe Koradon's gonna gain, like, his wings back in the near future. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius, absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her ever even playing with me. Her own kid. My boss is the only one that was there for me. Always. Alright. In we go. Anyways, it's open now. Go on in. I just wanted to get this all over with. Okay, Arvin. I hear you. In we go. <sighs> oh, it's dusty in here. Why do I still have such ugly socks on? I mean, they're not ugly, but... At the ankle view... Anyways. This has been a while since anybody's been here. Oop, everything's lighting up. I need your help. What's going on? No, you're just gonna say I need your help, not anything else? I'm currently in the deepest point of Area Zero, in the Great Crater of Paldea. Okay... I have been researching the unique Pokémon here for a long time, very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand, to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's Wow, you're full of yourself. Glorious research. 
<laughs> the final step. But there is something we need first. Something that can be found within that lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? Yep. This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that'll be an experience worth treasuring if you come. Okay. I must note, however, that Area Zero, Zero is home both to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Okay. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be waiting for you when you arrive in the deepest part of Area Zero, whenever you arrive. Is this like their way of encouraging us to use the work together thing? If so, oh well. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Matt Bostiff got wounded in the first place. Down to the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? We might find our treasure. That sounds like such a corny, like, I'm following the school thing. All right. Our treasure. Huh. Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. I mean, you found your treasure. You got your buddy back. There's nothing more valuable than that. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on her own. So I guess I'm going too. Hey, Arvin. Look at you. Besides, I'd like to give Mom a piece of my mind. All right, then. That's the outside. We're going to have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready or not to head to, head to Era Zero. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Okay. If we lose this, we're going to go do the League first. If we win this, then we're going to go to Area Zero. That's what I'm going to do. Whoop. Ah, exit the lab. Exit the lab. Thank you. Okay. I kind of feel bad bringing a Mabostiff. I don't want him to have to beat up a Mabostiff. He loves his Mabostiff. Oh, puppy. Okay, I'm not going to lead with Mabost. Oh, not. I'm leading with Todd. This is fine. Hi, buddy. Aw, oh, what a happy little puppy. Alright, you ready for battle? I am indeed, Darwin. Excellent, you're ready too, right, my boss stiff? Woof, woof. Yeah. Yep, my boss stiff says he's ready. Wait, you're battling with Mr. my boss stiff? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Nimona. Oh, where'd he go? Anyways, my point is, there's no need to worry. I'm gonna feel bad beating up this Mabostiff after we just saved it. We're a brand new Arvin and Mabostiff. And we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous? Let me give me let me give you a taste of what we can do. Okay, sandwich boy. Let's do this thing. Alright. Greedin. Okay. Go Todd. Um, the Pokemon I met during our hunt for Herba Mysticans are all stars, every one of them. Level 58. I feel reasonably good about that. Let's try an Ice Spinner. That did not do very much. That! Okay. This is why we're no longer Nuzlocke. Because I want to find out what happens next and not spend, you know. Um, I think we send out Chiffon. 
and I think he crunched. It'd be really funny if, uh, these trainers that have, you know, Pokemon that they're specifically tied to said something if you sent out that Pokemon against them. Oh, you got a Mavasta too? You know, something like that. But, I can also see why they don't. Garganacel? Uh... Oh! Hello! Um... Go ahead and crunch this. Good damage, decent damage at least. Stealth Rock, that's super annoying. I am not a fan of you. You're super cool looking though. Go ahead and crunch again. Body press. Ouch. Um, one more crunch should finish this off though. Oh, or not. Stone Edge. Ouch. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and send in Chonk. Chonk should be able to finish this thing off with a headbutt. Ah, oh, pointed stones. Goodbye, Gargona Cell. He's pretty cool looking, though. I will say that. Okay. We got some level ups, good. Uda wants to learn knock off. Uh, I think we're gonna get rid of Doodle. Yeah. Forgot Doodle and learned knock off instead. Cool. Toad Squirrel. Uh, no, we're good, thanks. Alright, what is this thing? Is it? Uh, let's go ahead and headbutt it, I guess. Power Whip. Ouch. That's good damage. One more should take it out. And we're faster than it now. Excellent, excellent. These little Kentonian Pokemon that are different, but different enough where they're actually different is so weird. Alright. And now it's raining. We got Scovillain out here to cause some chaos. Um... Let's go ahead and just keep headbutting. We got the flinch. Nice. Okay, one more should finish that off. Oyster. Cool. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and headbutt again. Chonk is doing some serious dare. Ah, uh, it didn't do very much. But we got the flinch. Do I yawn and then headbutt? I yawn and then headbutt, I think. Liquidation. Actually, you know what I think I do? I think I'll switch into Tito, because Liquidation is not going to bother Tito like at all, even in the rain. And then we uh, can use Tito against Mabasta. Alright. The whole point in stones thing is... I mean, it's a good strategy, but it's annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead and flower trick. We could probably tear a flower trick. I'm kind of expecting he's gonna tear a Mabostiff. And if he does, we should probably tear a Tito. But if he doesn't tear up, I probably won't. The problem is you don't know if he's gonna tear or not until he's already done it. Decisions, decisions. All right, uh, you know what? We've just got an attack drop. We're gonna go ahead and Terra. Actually, we're gonna U-turn. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. It's time to terrestrialize, Mabasta. Okay. 
Why does everyone have a hard time throwing their Terra Orb? It doesn't seem like we struggle like that. Don't know. Okay. The boss stuff's looking pretty fierce. That is a giant hat. Alright, and now we have to choose who to send out. Um... I think we send out Oodle, and then we U-turn again back into Tito. So I did t completely forget about the fact that there are pointed stones. That did not do very much. So we're gonna U-turn back into Tito, and then we're gonna Terra Tito. Uh... And uh, the Terra Tito should definitely take care of this Mabasta. Psychic Fangs does nothing to me. That was a good switch on my part. Lucky, but good. Alright, let's flower trick Tito. Use your signature move. Alright. And behold the power! Bye bye I feel so bad! I should be feeling so victorious, but now I'm just like, oh, I hurt the dog! Alright, we defeated Arvin. And we got some more level ups for the lower members of our team. We were so close, Mabostiff, so close, but that's a thanks, little buddy. Alright. Well, the rain stopped. So that's at least the bright side. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Indeed. Yeah, as much as I hate, hate to admit it, I do think we're going to need some su more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there's also some weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with a champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Sounds like Penny. Penny, that crazy smart hacker girl who is the big boss behind Team Star? Yeah, I mean, she'd be perfect for the job, but when do you go make friends, making friends with some shady character like her? Uh, she kind of recruited me to help take down Team Star. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could help, just try getting in good with them. Let's see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch, we make progress. I'll do the same. Okay. Path of Legends. Complete. I'm kind of feeling like it's encouraging us to do the lead next. Am I crazy? Because it's like this whole, you know, we need champion rank level players. But I really want to go find out what's in this area, but I'm kind of thinking with how big of a deal they're making about it. That it's definitely, and especially since the Titan stuff is now considered complete, I'm really thinking that this is supposed to be the last thing that we do. Uh, so, we have to go up there. I'm assuming that there's some sort of pathway from over here, maybe? We're gonna go ahead and fly to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal up there. This game doesn't have a victory road! Huh. At least, I don't think so. Guess we'll find out. We're gonna go ahead and heal up, and we're just gonna go straight for the, uh, the league, I guess. Thought we were gonna do one thing, but I think we're gonna do the other. Especially since they, you know, tell us to go recruit more people. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for us to go in like this. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what's up here? I've gotten all turned around in the city. Okay, yeah, this is the way I wanted to go. 
Oh, there's a sub shop, shop over here. I wonder if there's any more subs that they can teach us. Don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and head straight for the league. I'm excited. Okay, so there is kind of a... There is a... a uh, tunnel. So is there gonna be kind of that path like normal? Victory Road? Okay. Let's go ahead and mount up. I don't feel like these Pokemon are going to be particularly high levels. They're, they're Fido. I'm going to find out. Look at his little breadness! I still love this Pokemon. Yeah, level 8. We're just going to run because I don't feel like peeking on something that low. This is probably considered the part of the same area that's down below. Ooh, but we do have a trainer up here. The Pokemon League building looks so cool. Are you a Pokemon League Victory Road sort of trainer? I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle and mark the occasion. Okay, kid. Jackson the student. Meowth, okay. How badly am I about to destroy this kid? Very badly. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Ouch. Oh, I feel so bad. Clearly, we should come up here and uh, clear Pokemon trainers out earlier in the next game. We defeated Jackson. Okay. Look, we could have had a Tandem Mouse earlier. Well, losing one way is to mark an occasion. Okay. Look at a little tandem mouse. I'm still not entirely sure what triggered ours turning into four and having it not, you know, notify us. It's so weird to have a Pokemon evolve and not be told, hey, your Pokemon, it's evolving. Oops. Off we go, Koradon. I just want to know what's go up. Thank you. Yeah, this must be considered part of the same route as down there around the olives. Whee! Okay. That looked like super fun to slide down. Right, where did that other student go? Just to make sure we didn't miss any other trainers. Okay, he's there. That means I think this guy's the last trainer of the area. Taking on the lead. It's another caddy guy. You look like you got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. Caddy Paco, what do you got, buddy? I'm guessing level 15? No! Okay. Well then. Level 54. Bit of a difference. Ice Spitter. Earthquake. Ouch. Bye, Todd. Bye, Todd! Um, let's go ahead and... We're gonna go ahead and send in Tito. Because everyone else, I think, would also get one hit KO'd by an Earthquake, except for the bird, which obviously is in the air, but... We're just gonna go ahead and Flower Trick this thing. A flower Trick is such a good move. All right. We got what? Two more Pokemon to go. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Lunge. What is Sarah Lunge? Oh, is that Charcadet's like final form? That thing's sweet. It's dead or fainted, but. It's cool looking. Look at the little tandem mice in the background. Wyatt wants to learn Volt Switch. Yes, please, Wyatt. Um, let's go ahead and do that over up four. All right. And what's left? Bronzong. No, we are totally good with Tito for Bronzong. 
All right. Oh, wow. That thing's bulky. Why are you making it rain? What... What possible advantage do you think you're giving yourself by making it rain? Alright, there goes Bronzong. Maybe that's why it's so rainy in this world, because everyone's using rain dance unnecessarily. Cabby Paco defeated. Ha ha ha, did you get some growth out of that? Actually, yeah, I did. My Pokemon leveled up real nice. Thank you. Okay. And I think... So that is what we got going on. So I think we're going to go ahead and see what's over here. We're going to explore kind of behind and around the uh, Pokemon League. And then I'm assuming we can probably enter the building without actually battling them immediately. Because I kind of want to like see what's going on, see what the format looks like. Uh, like, do we get to choose which order we take them on in? Or is it just you enter and you oh yeah, there's a gimmick goal. Where's the gimmick goal? There he is. Alright. So we'll go ahead and we'll heal up just because it makes sense to be fully healed before going into the Pokemon League of all places. And yeah, I think let's go see what what uh I'm kinda of feeling like the Mona is gonna like, hey I wanna battle you right now. Uh, so that'd be kinda of fun, I guess. Okay. This is our squad. It is kind of fun that we, you know, are doing this stuff. Even though we've lost the Nuzlocke, it's fun that we've got a team currently that is entirely made up of new Paldean Pokemon. Alright, here we are. Hello, Naptal. Hello, Greta. Uh, so Gita, okay. Uh, so this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion. It is held here within this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Napta. Thank you, La Primera. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go talk to this guy. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? No, I think we're going to go ahead and do this next time. Because this sounds like it's going to just like start right off. And we are... We did pretty good today. We battled Arvin. We're ready to go to Area Zero whenever we figure out how to recruit our friends. So I think this is where we wrap up for today. I'm Napta. Thanks you guys so much for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Later!